high brand tech here where tech is made simple. Just a quick video to let you know that there looks like there might be some minor changes coming to the private browsing window. That's the Chrome incognito mode that is found in the Chrome web browser. Now currently in the stable version of Google Chrome, if you head up to your menu and you click on new incognito window, this is what the private browsing window currently, currently looks like in the stable version of Google Chrome. And it says you've gone incognito. Now you can browse privately and other people who use this device won't see your activity. However, downloads, bookmarks and reading lists, list items will be saved. And then on the left here it says Chrome won't save the following information. Your browsing history, cookies and site data, information entered into forms. And on the right it says your activity might still be visible to websites you visit, your employer or school, your internet service provider. And then you've also got the uh, option here to toggle block third party cookies on or off. Now, in the Google Chrome Canary version of the web browser, which is a pre-release version of Chrome used for testing and experimenting, there now is a flag uh, that can be enabled to change the dialogue and communication that is represented on that private browsing incognito uh, window in the Chrome browser. And that flag is called incognito NTP revamp. So as always, to apply the flag, we head up to our Omnibox, our address bar, and we enter Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags. And in the search, you just type in and enter incognito NTP revamp. That's the flag. And it says here, when enabled, incognito new tab page will have an updated UR. And that's currently available for Mac, Windows, Linux, Chrome OS, and Android. And then as always, we just go from default to enabled and relaunch uh, Google Chrome Canary to apply that flag. Now, if we just pop back over to our uh, new incognito window, when we um, open that private browsing window, you can see a couple of changes here. And obviously, Google is trying to clear up communication because there has been a little bit of confusion in the past about what this does or does or actually doesn't do. And it says you've gone incognito. On the left now, we can clearly see some changes. What incognito does, after closing all incognito tabs, Chrome clears your browsing activity from this device, your search history from this device, information entered into forms. And then on the uh, right, it says what incognito doesn't do now with a big X. And it says incognito does not make your you invisible online. Sites know when you visit them. Employers or schools can track browsing activity. Internet service providers may monitor web traffic. And then you've got learn more and you can, as just like in the stable version, you have that, op that um, option to still toggle a block third party cookies on or off. So clearly, uh, Google is clearing up a bit of miscommunication in the Chrome incognito mode in the uh, latest builds of Google Chrome Canary. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.